What is up guys, it is KikiZilla101 here yet again and welcome back to Kiki and Coffee, the show where we casually talk about stuff and put in as minimal effort as possible while we drink coffee. So grab your coffee, tea, or other preferred beverage and let's get straight into this video. Ah, I got some iced tea today. I think it's been a while since I've had iced tea on the show. Alright, so, Eofana. We're going to be continuing our adult collecting mini-series. i uh, still got quite a few more episodes for this week. Now, Eofauna is one I've been very excited to talk about because they are a new company. I think that their first figure was in 2017 uh, with the uh, uh, Step Mammoth. Uh, it was a really well-posed, very nice-looking figure. Um, they made uh, an impact for certain people who bought them because they, they were really surprised by how, how the quality was. Of course, there's one single figure, and also it was a proboscidean or an elephant uh, type animal, and a lot of people that weren't really into like prehistoric mammals or Cenozoic mammals or um, just didn't really like straying away from dinosaur stuff really didn't get into that stuff. And so, you know, it, it wasn't, they weren't really that popular right off the bat. Um, and I'm, I'm including that. I knew about Eofauna when they came out, but I just wasn't interested in their figures because they, it's just not my type of thing. Uh, next year, 2018, they came out with this beautiful Paleoluxodon. Um, and yet again, it was just an elephant. Um, it was an elephant type animal, and I just wasn't really interested. Uh, not my type of, uh, my cup of tea. Um, and, but I kept hearing great things about it. People were saying that they loved it, but I just kind of blew it off because I'm like, yeah, I'm just, I'm not into Cenozoic stuff. And at that time, it was just when I was about to start making the turn into Cenozoic stuff, but I was still just kind of getting animals that I already found interested or knew much about. In 2019, the beginning of 2019, and it was revealed late 2018, but it didn't come out until January, February of 2019. I think it was January. I'll grab that hair off it. This Giganotosaurus came out, their first dinosaur and it hit the community by storm. It was incredible. Everybody was shocked at how well it was done, the accuracy of the figure. It, almost everybody had it. Every review channel was buying it and reviewing it. Every person I could, I could think of had the figure. Um, I used to have a Discord server back then that we were running uh, with some of my friends uh, called Dino Nation, and on there, people, like, almost everybody had it. It was taking the community by storm. People loved this figure, and for very good reason. It is an amazing figure. It was easily their most popular figure, and probably still is their most popular figure to date, because I still have not seen a figure get purchased as much as that one has. Um, and it, it, it's, that's when Eofauna really started striking a chord with a lot of people in the community, including myself. That's when I really took notice of them. And then, this was already out, and people kept telling me that the Paleoluxodon was incredible and insane, and I needed to get it. Um, and so from then on, I started paying attention to it more, and I saw pictures of it and stuff, and I realized how incredible the pose was and everything. I was still slightly skeptical, um, but then relatively recently, I ended up buying both this Atlasaurus and the Paleoluxodon, and I got my hand on it, and oh my god, it is incredible. It is one of the best prehistoric animal figurines ever made. The pose, everything is incredible. If you guys want to see more on this one in particular, the review will be up in the top right corner right now, so you can go check out that review. And this, oh, it's, it's a beautiful figurine. Anyways, later in 2019, it was revealed that they were going to have uh, late 2019 reveals, which they, they, for the first time ever, released two figures at once. And that makes it, so three figures were releasing in 2019 in total. The, the Giganotosaurus was at the beginning of 2019. They then uh, released a Dinotherium, which is basically the same quality as this Paleoluxodon, just a different species. Like, its the quality is on par, the pose is great, um, incredible figurine. And then the Atlasaurus, which is their second dinosaur, and it's a giant sauropod. And incredible, I, I can't stress enough, guys, this thing is huge. I don't know if you can even get a sense of how big this thing is. It's massive. Um, now, uh, the Atlasaurus is definitely their best figure to date. Um, and if you guys want to know more about it, then go check out my review in the top right corner. I'm sorry, it's like flipped there. Uh, in the top right corner, you can check out the review for the Atlasaurus. Um, I also actually have a review for the Giganotosaurus as well, which um, if you want to check that out, you can go in the top right corner right now. And, uh, well, maybe it was right now. I'll do, I'll do it right now. Right now. Right there. There you go. Yeah, yeah. See, 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 oh, oh, oh it, it, I, think, I think it's going away. Okay, never mind. Um, anyways... <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, hope, I really hope I remember to put those cards in there because I've forgotten a couple times. Anyways, Eofauna is incredible. 
They are the most scientifically accurate company on the market right now, hands down, no competition, period. Uh, they, they, are, they do have a distinct advantage of being more recent and only having five figures out so far, which, by the way, they have confirmed they're releasing a new figure for 2020, but that since, you know, like, uh, they're busy with scientific studies and stuff, and I'm pretty sure because of the whole situation uh, with certain things, they've been put back, so they're only releasing one this year at the end of 2020, which I'm super excited about. I have hunches about what's that, what that figure is, by the way. I'm going to put that at the end of this video. Um, so, Eofauna is incredible. They, they, their, their accuracy is unparalleled. And that's because these guys are they, they're working with actual paleontologists, the most accurate, up-to-date uh, paleontology stuff. There's other companies out there, um, that, like the big four and stuff, and some of those really do put a lot of passion into paleontological accuracy. But you can tell that a lot of them just use things as reference, but they don't actually dive too, many, too much into the, the studies themselves, or they don't use it religiously and actually do it for every figure that they produce. Um, like sometimes you get absolute gems, um, like uh, for instance Safari LTD, the, uh, their great Giganotosaurus, which is basically identical to this one by the way. Um, like they both have almost the same pose, you can see that in the review uh, for that one and, uh, well not in the, the other one, but you can see it in the review for this Eofauna Giga. Um, and then they'll make things like the Carnotaurus, which is just couldn't be much further from a Carnotaurus. So, and then you have, uh, like, Collecta will have their issues as well, but they tend to do a little bit better. Eofauna in particular, they actually 3D render the entire skeleton of what we know what the animal looks like. They, they render the skeleton itself in a 3D computer. And then they put the musculature and the organs over the skeleton to give it that muscle and how it would actually be in real life, right? So that it actually has all of that, um, uh, body mass. Then they put the skin and they texture the antiquement and they color it and they, they, they do all of that fancy stuff to the, the figurine afterwards. So what you get is a perfect recreation of what we believe the animal would have looked like. Um, and I don't really hesitate using the word perfect because as, like, of course it could become outdated at some point, but as we currently know, this is, these are perfect. Like you don't get any better than this. Um, the quality of their figures has increased. Like the Step Mammoth is definitely their worst figure, um, but that's just because it's qual it's like detail and stuff isn't quite as crisp as some of the other ones. Like the Allosaurus is incredible. I mean, like I can I am having trouble just seeing detail getting up any higher than this. This thing is incredible with detail. I don't know if you can get much better than this, and I'm sure that they will somehow. Um, the Giganotosaurus, it is very smooth on detail, which is actually quite accurate to the, you know, how the animal would look in, in real life. You wouldn't be able to tell a lot of the detail apart um, just that way, but also the, the, the paint could do some work. They always have been working um, on certain aspects like that, but they've been continuously improving. Like, every single figure seems like a step above the other one. The Dinotherium is basically on par with this Paleoluxon, even though I think most people, myself included, do prefer the Paleoluxon just for aesthetics and um, pose and stuff like that, but it's, it's essentially the same quality. Um, and so you're basically getting an incredible figure there none, nonetheless. I, honestly, I think these three are some of the best ones that, oh, all of them are so, so incredible. Um, but you, you are guaranteed to get a paleontological perfection of a figure. I mean, you, you are going to get something incredible if you got buy something from Eofauna. I am so confident that, like, I, when I first saw the reveal images for this Atlasaurus, I wasn't super hyped on it. I was like, eh, it looks okay, and I had my gripes with it. But then, uh, as time went on, I, I started to notice it was actually really great, and then I ended up getting it in person. It was incredible. It was blew me away. Fantastic and amazing. And I was trying to pick between the Paleoluxodon and the Atlasaurus, because I've wanted to get this one for a long time, because people kept recommending it, but I kind of wanted this one a little bit more. And I didn't just descend that I decided to get both of them because I'm just like, screw it, I really need both of them. And I'm so happy I did. This was an incredible uh, purchase. But um, for, for reference to... Ah, um, oh crap, what was I just saying? Uh, oh, I'm so confident in Eofauna at this point. By the way, I own their book. Um, I probably should have grabbed that. Um, they're coming out with a new one, actually this year, which I'm going to be buying. This is the first time I have, well, I think I've ever purchased my own dinosaur book, but this is the first time I've gotten a book since I was like 10. I think the last time I got a dinosaur book from a family member, I was around 10, and I'm 20 now, so it's a whole decade. Um, and this is an incredible booklet. I love this encyclopedia. It is just about theropod dinosaurs. It's just a theropod dinosaur book, but they're coming out with a sauropod one. Um, 
this year, and I'm definitely going to be buying that one because I utterly love, um, let me see if I can just grab a quick little example in here. Incredible booklet, packed with scientific knowledge, all the up-to-date uh, scientific um, knowledge we have on, on theropod dinosaurs and stuff. It is an incredible booklet. And there's some amazing designs in here. I'd really love to see them make like that Dino Kyrus. Oh my god, make that Dino Kyrus. If they make that T-Rex, I'm going to end up having to buy it. Um, I'm going to put this back down over here. So they, they are very knowledgeable, and I have complete confidence that it, whatever they make next is going to just knock it out of the park. I don't even care what my hesitations are when I first see it, because I was very hesitant on this Atlas source when I first saw it, and I was so proved wrong. This is the most amazing figure in my collection. Like, proper model, not including action figures or statues. This thing is incredible. It's standing up to the models, like the statues on my shelf, on the masterpiece shelf. This thing is incredible. Um, I cannot stress to you guys enough how amazing this figure is. It, is, it literally might be the best dinosaur figure ever made. It is incredible. Um, it, they are definitely a little bit more pricey than other figurines, but you are getting what you pay for. You are getting an incredible sculpt that is the most accurate representation you're going to get of that animal probably for years, um, unless they redo it themselves. They are so amazing. They blow me away. I don't even care what their next figure is. As soon as it comes out, I'm buying it, and I don't even give a crap what my hesitations are because I know I'm going to love it in person. And when I do that, I'm going to go back, and I'm going to get the Dinotherium and the Step Mammoth because I just, I have decided, I kept being hesitant. I'm like, I'll just get the ones I really want. I don't care. I love these guys so much. I need to support them, and I need to get those figures because they're so incredible. So I'm going to buy it. I'm going to become an Eofauna completionist. This is probably the only company I will completely try to complete at this point. I mean, it is a little unfair because they're newer, um, so it's a little easier, and there's less of the figures. But I'm over the moon at these guys. Eofauna is incredible. They are so good. If you guys are waiting on Eofauna, you do not know what you're missing out on. It is. They are so incredible. Like... I know that you can probably get, like, sometimes with cheaper figures, like four figures for the price of these, but not all four of those will match up to how much these are, like, in quality and value. They are, it is absurd. These are so worth the price, and they are outstanding. I, okay, I'm just going to become re very repetitive if I keep going at this point. Anyways, you guys kind of get my feelings on Eofauna now. I do want to add in a little bit of a section at the end of this as to what I think, because I just I don't think I'm going to be making like prediction videos or what I want wish list videos for any companies anymore. I just I don't really enjoy making those videos, and they take a lot of time, and I just don't really think I want to do them anymore. But I will give you guys a little section at the bottom here as what I think Eofauna might be making at the end of this year, and I don't really give a crap what they make. I'm gonna get it. So even if I'm wrong, I'm I'm gonna be over the moon with whatever the hell they make. But I was on their website and exploring and stuff, and they have full 3D renders of a Triceratops skeleton and the skeleton with musculature over it. And if you guys remember from earlier in this video, those are the two first steps to them making these models. Next one is putting the skin, making all that integument and the, the outer layer shape, painting it, giving it its colors, making the figure. I mean, it's really, there's not much else past that. And they have so much of that Triceratops done already. I think it's a it's a for sure. I, I, I'm I pretty dang sure that we're going to be getting a Triceratops here. And I am so happy because if you guys don't know, Triceratops is my second favorite dinosaur of all time. I love Triceratops so much. And Giganotosaurus is my third favorite dinosaur of all time. I love Giganotosaurus. Um, so it's it, I'm, I'm super excited about that idea that we might be getting a Triceratops from them because I know they're going to just knock it out of the park. Um, but also another thing is I was just figuring in general before I even found that stuff I was actually talking with my friends on discord and I was just like we were just talking about what we think they could be making And I was I was really confident if they're gonna pick just one figure for this year because they can only get one out They might as well do one that's gonna sell really well So it's got to be a dinosaur because I think it's gonna sell way better than anything else And it's probably gonna be a pretty popular one because if they want to make the most bang for their buck out of just one figure in a year If it was a normal year like I was hoping that we'd get three figures for them in one batch this year um, so we just keep getting more and more from them. Not like that it would keep increasing, but like we just get a little bit more so we get like three figures a year from them because I'd just be so happy about that. Um, but I just figured 
Um, if they're going to try to do one figure and they really need to make it, you know, worth the 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 amount of time they're going to be investing in it, and it's the only figure for the year. I really think it should be probably a popular genus of dinosaur. And then when I saw the Triceratops thing, I'm like, that fits that fits the bill perfectly. It's unique. It's a different family group, which is perfect. So we might even be getting a Ceratopsian book after that. We got a theropod book, and we got a theropod first. We got a sauropod book coming. And we got a sauropod second. Ceratopsian book next. Maybe um, it would make perfect sense. And it's a popular genus. It's a dinosaur, probably going to make some pretty decent money. I'm really excited, you guys. I think it might be, the, I think we really might be getting a Triceratops. So, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. What are your guys' thoughts on Eofauna? Let me know in the comment section below. Have any of you guys gotten any of these figures? What do you think of them? Have any of you guys not gotten them? Please let me know why you guys haven't gotten them yet. And if you guys need any further convincing, please, in the top right corner, you can click on that little I card. All three of the reviews for all three of these figures are on the channel right now. You can check them out. Further convince yourself. Unfortunately, the, Geo, the Eofauna Gignotosaurus video is a little bit outdated in style because it's a longer one. So please bear with me or just like click through the, scrub through the video. It still gets a lot of my, uh, my thought processes apart uh, through it. Um, and of course, actually I should mention my one flaw with uh, any Eofauna figure I have is just in general, this one doesn't stand up very well. It has some standing issues, but you can warp it back. It just takes a lot of work. But this is their first Theropod figure, so I'm pretty forgiving of that. And I do think that they're going to they're gonna do a much better job with their next one. Um, in general though, guys, please let me know all your thoughts in the comment section below, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.